What is up guys, Moo Airsoft back here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to disassemble your gearbox. Today we're going to be working on a Matrix M4 gearbox. This one in particular is a quick change spring gearbox, so the back of the gearbox will be a little bit longer. But most version 2 gearbox, but gearboxes look like this. So this one's for the uh, M4. So it has a quick change spring. So if you do have the quick change spring system for the Elite Force uh, or SMT guns, wanna? I'm not sure if this can fit in the camera angle, but oh, it can. So just press down and turn it, and then your spring should pop out. Let me show you guys right here. There we go. So. That's your spring guide and spring. Let's put that to your side. And you would use the focus um, one fourth Allen key. Alright. I'll lower my camera a bit. So, I recommend you keep a magnet right here. So that it'll keep the anti-reversal latch in. Alright, there's gonna be four screws on the top, two screws at the front of the gearbox, and one screw here, two screws at the bottom, and one at the back. So just unscrew your screws. This might be a little boring to watch, so skip ahead if you wouldn't. If you like, I like using a handheld screwdriver since it's more easy to use and you can't over torque it or break the gearbox. And I can't afford a uh, an electric drill, so all the screws on the top will be the same type so don't worry about mixing them up All right, I'm on to the lower two screws This gearbox in particular only uses two types of screws, the shorter ones and the long ones. So the longer ones will be at the bottom of the gearbox, and the shorter ones will be at the top of the gearbox. Last screw. Alright, so, as you can see, this is the longer type, and this is the shorter type. The longer type were here, 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 and here. And the shorter type were on the top of the gearbox. So if your gearbox isn't a quick change spring, then put a screwdriver, a thin screwdriver in the back of the gearbox and hold it down so your spring doesn't fly up. Alright, so if you're quick, you're gearbox is quick change then you don't have to worry about that so now you'd like to get a flat head screwdriver and you should do just make sure it's not too oversized all right and just pry open the gearbox at the back yep and I don't really need a flat head but all right just keep pressure on the cylinder yeah, just pop it out at the back if you have the quick change, and just uh, need the flathead to uh, pry up if you don't have the quick change. All right, so here should be here's my gearbox. Shims might fly out, so check the other side of the gearbox for shims. And for me, this shim flew out. Don't lose your shims and make sure to keep track of them. 
There you go. That's how you disassemble your gearbox. So now I'm gonna show you how to uh, disassemble it piece by piece. Get the camera a bit lower. Alright, so first off you want your cylinder set to get out. For that I'm gonna be using the screwdriver. So where's that shim that? Alright, oh the shim's over here, so I'm gonna pry out the spring down here. Just wiggle it out. It might fly out at you right there. And now you just lift up your cylinders. Your cylinder, your piston, and your tappet plate. Right there. And your spring. Your tappet plate spring. And now just remove the gears. Your sector gear. Baffle gear. And your spur gear. Alright. So, that's all for this video. And if you have your... Mine has a um, micro switch trigger, so there's not there's not gonna be any trigger contacts. And if there is trigger contacts, there's gonna be a screw in the middle of them. Unscrew that and just pull out your trigger contacts. So that's all gonna be for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. All right. So before I end the video, I'm gonna show you some uh, DIY upgrades that you could do without spending any money. So you put Teflon tape around the cylinder head. Get a better air seal and Teflon tape under the pist piston o-ring to also get a perfect air seal. So yeah, that's basically the cheapest upgrade you could do. Lube your gearbox and shim your gearbox, which shims cost like eighty cents to five dollars. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna leave a shimming guy below and yeah, Teflon tape. Take the cylinder head out, Teflon tape it, and then take the O-ring out, Teflon tape under it. And here's the perfect air seal. I can't really demonstrate it right now. Yep, I cannot do, but trust me. Look, the piston will not just, it just, it's just not perfect air seal. So yeah, thank you all for watching, see you guys next time. This is honestly a pretty bad uh, how-to, but it does the job, so bye guys.